A very good afternoon to you, Professor, and thank you so much for your time this afternoon. So is this a normal process for the Zulu nation that when Ngozi Isikoteme, that the wife, the queen, becomes the one who chooses the next monarch? Uh, I mean, it depends on what uh, the king in council or the, the king's council, uh, you, you know, decide. Mm. And in this particular uh, you know, case, they chose one of his wives to be the one to make the announcement. Can she be considered? Can she become the new monarch if she so decides to choose? Uh, what, uh, her grandmother, Kwamile, uh, mm. Uh, is the one that uh, acted, uh, you know, as a as a regent until the a successor, King Sopusa the uh, second, that took place. This is known to, uh, uh, you know, to happen. If there's no clear cut uh, decision as to who is to follow, or oh, one is it's young, then you can choose a regent, and the regent could be a woman, at least uh, according to Guni culture as practiced by the Swazi people. Any of the the king's brothers, the princes, perhaps his sons, can they then too be considered? I mean, what becomes the, 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 the discussion within the council as to we've now picked the queen to be the one that chooses the new monarch? Who then is in line that can rightfully take over? Uh, yes, it is. But what we should actually remember is that uh, in uh, Nguni royalty and in broad royalties, there are different houses. There's a seed-bearing house. Do you know that out of this house, someone must be the one that must, uh, you know, rule? Mm. If that house fails to produce an heir, then there is a next house that must uh, produce a, a, a heir. But in many instances, is that uh, it becomes the, either uh, the child produced by the woman whose lobola has been paid by the community, mm. or if. Uh, the king has married into royalty, and uh, the, that uh, queen was a princess, you know, actually herself. Then her status gets higher, uh, and then it is, for instance, uh, Queen Manbombi uh, has got a son. Mm. Uh, the son qualifies, but the, uh, maybe from other houses they can, but it is for the royal house to, you know, to decide. But she is there not simply as her own, as an individual, but guided, you know, by the Prime Minister of the Zulu Nation, mm. the royal, you know, princes, the senior, uh, Makosi, uh, the whole bunch that actually control the Zulu Nation. Professor, yes, how, long, yeah. how long does a process like that take? When are we to find out, finally, if there is even any kind of finality in a process like this, that this is going to be the new monarch? No, it, 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 it depends. It could be next week, it could be in the next six months, mm. uh, for it depends as to whether who that uh, head of person is. If that person is still a minor, but uh, 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 the royal role belongs to him, then we have to announce who is going to act on their behalf. And if uh, 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 then there's still some kind of a tension as to what it is, as you know that in each and everything there are actually tensions. Although there are rules, it's not as straightforward as it normally is. Mm. Then we hope that you know very soon, an announcement will be, uh, uh, you know, made you know by either the Queen or uh, the, the the Prime Minister. Now, I just want to then find out, uh, a Professor, as to how how long has a process like this taken place in the Zulu Nation? Has this always been how matters are dealt with? I know, yes, you know, it's we have seen uh, the Queen Mother perhaps being the one that comes forward to do the picking, but is, has there always been a uniformity in the process of picking the next monarch? But what you should actually remember is that uh, Eshaga took the power, uh, took power by force. Mm. And, uh, you know, Dingane, uh, uh, you know, dies. It's many aces, in many of them, people take over those that were actually powerful. Uh, but systematically now, from uh, King Mpande, State uh, you know, down to uh, uh, past Dini Zulu, Cyprian Zulu, to Peggy Zulu, to the king, there has been this pro in, in the processes. It is not surprising that uh, the role that is played uh, by I mean, right now, follows, you know, historically, because if you drew the time of King Tetrao, uh, this great, great grandfather, Mnyamane, was the one who did, uh, uh, who performed the job that's yeah. being uh, uh, done, you know, right now. 
But again, we have to understand that uh, the world is changing. Yes. Culture is not a static. Culture and undergoes uh, its own changes. So nothing should surprise us. And just before I let you go, Professor, I know we've spoken at length what kind of festivities we are under COVID times. So things will definitely be, you know, approached and dealt with differently than, I suppose, how things had happened 50 years ago uh, when Ukim Kudluzulitini took over. So what kind of festivities can we expect when, you know, a new monarch does come into power? What I would actually, you know, think, I may be wrong, what I might actually think is that the royal house might have to encourage all the different uh, nationalities, regions where people are to organize, uh, you know, their festivities. Mm. That would be, of course, coordinated, you know, by, uh, you know, the royal uh, house. Even if people are invited, yeah. social distances have got to be kept. As we mm. noticed during the, mem uh, you know, the memorial, uh, the one of the matter of ceremonies, I think it was like who very vehemently reminded people of social distancing. Mm. And, and, and so creative thinking is going to be absolutely very necessary. Mm. It is also be very necessary from the one who's also going to take over because they are going to be meeting far much more challenges than when the, the, the late king took over power. Professor, thank you so much for your time this afternoon and just opening us up to how these things work in, in the Zulu culture. That is Professor uh, Bidiganduli, who of course is a historian.